show you a very simple crochet border and this is one that is good for just finishing the edge of a project if you don't want to necessarily have a fancy border or like a, a lace type trim or whatever on the edge of your project. This is just a nice and simple border to make the project look a little more finished around the edges. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple examples of this. I don't really know what it's called. I'm just calling it a backwards border. Um, so this is a poncho that I made a while back and um, you can see it the last color I used for the pat regular pattern was a uh, blue color so then I switched to a tan colored yarn and what I did there was a single row of single crochet and then I did this backwards border on that so it's a nice solid border but it's not really super thick and it kind of has a little twist to the each stitch there it looks like it's almost twisted there but it gives a nice finished look to it and it's this is just a simple poncho so nothing fancy I just wanted something to make it look a little more finished on the edge and I'll show you another example here this is an old afghan that my grandma made for us I think probably for a wedding present so it's kind of dirty and kind of worn out but you can see um, she did this border as well along the edges here and this is an afghan that was done in large strips and then the strips were sewn together and then once she had it all together she just went around the entire edge of the whole project just to kind of tie it together and give it a nice finished look around all the edges. Um, nothing fancy again but it looks sharp. It looks nice and neat and finished with that border on there. So this is a project that I have only partly done, obviously. Um, just kind of has been sitting in my closet for a little while. So don't mind the partial partialness of this, but I'm gonna show you on one of these edges here um, how to do this border. So um, this is the black here, and then I changed to white for that border, but I didn't do the row of single crochet on there first. So if you're doing a contrasting color for that border, that's kind of what that will look like along there which is still fine, it's just a matter of preference. Um, so I'm gonna take this out and I'll show you um, kind of just starting with a single crochet row. So I'm just gonna start the row here. I'll probably fast forward this just so I get a row of single crochet across this edge here. Okay, so we've got our row there of the single crochet. Now, remember when we're crocheting, we usually go from the right to the left as we're going. So for this backwards border, we're gonna switch direction and go backwards. So I'm gonna start with this first stitch here. I'm just gonna go in, grab the yarn, pull through like always, just like a single crochet. And then instead of going this, this way, I'm gonna go this way, so I'm gonna go backwards to this stitch. So you kind of have to pay a little closer attention to where you're going next. So I'm going to go right here, grab the yarn, pull through, and pull through again. I'm going to go to this next one here, so we're going left to right now. So there's the backwards border there with the row of single crochet first and then that backwards border. So it gives a nice um, trim there for it. So one thing you should remember when you're doing these is whether you're going around one of these points or a corner on an afghan, you want to make sure to do extra stitches in that corner stitch so that you're rounding that corner. Uh, if you're doing one stitch for each one, it's going to eventually pull a little bit too tight and you're going to have the corners curling in like this. So make sure that you do extra stitches so it'll lay nice and flat when it's finished. So there you go, a simple border for crochet projects for you to try. If you have any questions at all about how to do this or how to make it work for a certain project, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you as best I can. And as always, thank you for watching and clicking the subscribe and the like button. And don't forget to hit that little bell there and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. I will catch you guys later. Bye.